Hi, here is Water World. Welcome. Aquarium plants are an excellent supplement to almost all fish tanks. Not only are they beautiful and natural, but they also help biological filtration and create a comfortable environment for your fish. However, many people are afraid to try, because growing plants underwater is so unfamiliar. Don't worry these are our for proven tips for getting started with your first aquarium plants. Tip number 1, use a good fertilizer. Plants is that they consume toxic nitrogen compounds produced by fish waste. However, to truly achieve good growth, the fishtails needed by plants cannot provide more food. The key components of plants include macronutrients, such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and micronutrients, such as iron, boron, and manganese. In addition, they need all these nutrients in proper concentrations. Experienced aquarium viewers like to use customizable products that provide separate containers for each nutrient, allowing them to create specific fertilizer mixes for the aquarium. However, if you are like me, I just want a simple, all-in-one solution. Therefore, we can purchase suitable liquid fertilizers on the market to simplify your life. For low-tech storage tanks, just add one spray per 12 gallons per week. For high-tech storage tanks, it needs to be added twice a week. For plants that feed mainly from their roots, please use root fertilizer or specially planted pot substrates to provide ground nutrients. Tip number 2, use good lighting. Plants also need a stable light source for photosynthesis, but since it is difficult to control the intensity and may encounter serious algae problems, direct sunlight is not recommended. Instead, you need to use special lighting for the aquarium plants, so some research is needed to find out which kind of lighting is effective for other aquariums that are already planted. We can choose the appropriate LED lamp or halogen lamp, because it allows you to control the light intensity from extremely low to extremely high according to the needs of the water tank. With this kind of light, you can start with low illuminance plants, that is, plants that require only a small amount of light, as a novice, and eventually upgrade to high luminance plants without having to upgrade the lighting settings. Tip number 3, select the right fish. You may never consider this factor, but many fish like to eat plants. For example, silver dollar fish, certain shrimps, goldfish, and koi will fully enjoy their vegetables, so some plants are not suitable for aquariums. Here we recommend the following fish. First Chili Rasbora, Aurorus Brigitti, Chili Rasbora, sometimes called Mosquito Rasboras, are tiny shoaling fish native to Borneo. Their bodies are an unbelievably bright red with an iridescent black stripe down the side that gets thinner as it nears the tail. They are active and cute, one of those fish that are always doing something when you look in the tank. Second Neon Tetra Heratura than Inisi, Neon Tetras are some of the most popular fish in the aquarium trade. They have a bright blue head that tapers to a bright red tail. They are a long, thin-bodied fish with small fins. They are native to the Amazon River Basin where they shoal together in huge groups that can number in the thousands. They can be kept in a 10 gallon, but the bigger the tank, the more interesting their behavior. Third Cardinal Tetras, Heraturid and Axelrodi, Cardinal Tetras look very similar to Neon Tetras, but with some subtle differences. They get almost an inch bigger than Neons. Cardinals have the same long, thin body shape, and also have blue and red stripes, but these extend the entire length of their bodies, instead having a blue head and a red tail. They are another peaceful shoaling fish that likes to be kept in large groups. They love to dart in and out of tall plants. Fourth Harlequin Rasboras, Trigonostigma heteromorpha, 
Harley Queen Rosepore is of a deep chest that narrows to a much thinner tail. Their heads, backs and tails are a really pretty orange red and their bellies are silver. On each side of their bodies they have a black marking shaped like a funnel that runs from their dorsal fins to their tails. I really think they are stunning. Fifth and last liverboras, Hosilia windii, and Lurs are probably my favorite liverbora. They are closely related to guppies and have the same body shape but males are so brightly colored they look like you gave a small child neon markers and asked them to draw a fish. There are several different color variations available. Just like guppies, endlers breed like crazy. Consider keeping a group of all males. Sixth Zebradanios, Danio Rio. Zebradanios have a long slim body shape with small rounded fins. Their bodies are silver with bright metallic blue stripes that run from nose to tail. They are extremely active and should be put in as large a tank as possible. Seventh White Cloud Mountain Minnow, Tanich These Alba Noobs, White Cloud Mountain Minnows are elongated, slim fish. Their bodies can range from a bright golden color to a silvery blue and their fins and tails are bright red. These minnows are commonly bred as a feeder fish for larger species, but they really are beautiful when properly cared for. They are a cold water species that does not need a heater. Eighth Otto Cats, Otto Sinclus Macrospilus. Otto Cats are dwarf catfish that feed on algae. They are a great addition to a community tank cleanup crew. Frankly, I think they are really cute and their behavior and interactions make them interesting. They remind me of naughty little kids. Tip number four, start with beginner plants. Low light plants are the easiest species to start because when you learn how to grow plants underwater, they grow slowly and are more forgiving. For beginners, we recommend that you buy one plant of each favorite species. In other words, instead of getting five identical plants, but five different beginner plants. This method increases the probability of survival of some plants. Even if your rearing is not perfect, you will still achieve a certain degree of success. Finally, make sure to only buy real aquatic plants that can be completely submerged or grown underwater. Some semi-aquatic plants sold in pet shops are used in terrariums rather than in aquariums. An interesting fact is that most aquatic plants are actually cultivated with water on factory farms to speed up growth and eliminate algae problems. Therefore, once the newly purchased plant is placed in the aquarium, it may wither a little and then start to produce new leaves to completely submerge. With this in mind, remember that plants that can still be saved can still be saved. As it adapts to new water quality parameters, it may wither, so there is a chance to see if there is new growth. Thanks for watching, see you next time.